hub and spoke food plot design or a wagon wheel. You better grease your chair up for this one. So today we're going to talk about a food plot design and a food plot plant. Um, I'm standing in the middle of a hub and spoke food plot or a wagon wheel. And here is the aerial photo. You could tell that's what, how it got its name. Um, the thought process behind this is each one of my spokes is roughly 200 yards long i got some a little shorter and some a little farther but they, they average about 200 and they are 20 feet wide well total now i have roughly about a little bit more than an acre not quite an acre and a half instead of just having a you know one giant acre and a half food plot these little small strips the deer seem to be more comfortable standing in them earlier in the daytime because they're only at any time they're only 10 feet away from cover um and there's a road around these and what i've seen is if i ride by and there's a deer in the food plot as long as i just keep going they just stay there and they continue feeding they you know they won't because they only see me for a little for a short little window so if i if the road's down there if I ride by, it's just a quick ride through, and then they, you know, I don't mess them up. Versus if it, if they'd have been in a big food plot, and I'd have had to ride by them, they probably would have run out. Is if you can look at this aerial, what they like to do is they like to lay in this tall grass, and the couple of times I've hunted here, they just stand up and just step out in the food plot, and they've been laying there, you know, all day. They don't really come from very far. And what I have planted is a mossy oak biologic product called endurance radish and if you can let's try this so it's roughly about knee tall and the deer are killing it uh, at first i wasn't sure if they were eating it or not and then i put up a one of the containment fences so that deer can't get to it and you can see here yeah they've been eating it i have another food plot and they have heard it way more than this one and it's what's odd to me is on the fingers out on the edges of the wagon wheel is where they're eating it the most i'm not real sure why but right here in the middle it's in, they they are eating it but they're not knocking it down to the ground like they are on the other side having it getting cold colder we've had a bunch of frost now and a lot of the their food that they've been eating has died the does are flocking to this endurance radish and it's really aided us in removing um, a good number of does off the property here's a good size comparison for the average size top and bottom of the radish Deer haven't started digging the radishes up and eating the tubers, but they are definitely eating the greens on top. I designed this food plot last year, and I dissed it last winter, I think after I burned this this area. And then I kept it dissed so I could get ready to plant it um, when time came for the radishes in September. So the one good thing is I got over a thousand yards of shooting lane in this one stand. However... You need a really good chair with a really good swivel that does not squeak because you spend a lot of time spinning around looking down all the shooting, down all the lanes. But it's working well for us. Uh, I have another food plot that's got the radishes in them and they are, they've just about eaten half of it down to the ground. I have another video of 
me removing a couple of does and they were eating you can see in there that they were eating the radishes also but very very happy with this mossy oak product um and i got both of these the radish idea and the hub and spoke idea from mossy oaks gamekeeper podcast uh, i listen to it on spotify and if you're an outdoorsman of any kind hunting fishing land manager whatever they have a podcast topic that will cover anything you're interested in um we i i have i've lost count of how many little tips and tricks that they've that they've told me that i've gotten that we implemented here on the property that i work on and it's just a great podcast good group of guys um can't recommend it enough so that's all i have for today um give mossy oak gamekeeper cut podcast to listen next year get some endurance radishes try them out on your property if you like this video give me a like and subscribe appreciate y'all watching see you next time